Hey guys, my name is Abel and I'm the head youth minister here at St. John of God. I want to wish all of you a happy Easter and um, I want to also encourage all of you who are at home to please pray for all of the uh, workers who are on the front lines of fighting this virus as well as for all of those who are um, essential workers, the truck drivers, those working in the grocery stores and anyone who's working at the market um, that for just pray to them, uh, pray for them because they give us the our basic necessities that we need to just go about on our daily lives. So I do want to share with you just um, a little bit about uh, the variant space that I created. Um, obviously, I'm using the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Um, a little bit about this picture is it was um, donated to the youth ministry um, some years ago by one of our former priests here, Father John Paul. Uh, this. Um, this image has been a part of the youth ministry for a long time. It was a part of the old youth room, and it's a part of the new youth room uh, here here now. Uh, one thing I do want to kind of point out about this image, something I found that's kind of beautiful, is if you look at the bottom of her feet, you see the you see the moon. Uh, the reason that we have that this was put in here is because the moon reflects the light of the sun, and the sun here is our is our Lord, is Jesus. So right below the moon, I have the smaller image of Jesus just to um, kind of reflect the love that Mary gives is the love of Christ. So especially during these times of the quarantine, during these times of the pandemic, it's uh, really important to go to our mother and ask her for her intercession to pray for all of us because we can relate to her in these times of, in this time of trial, in this time of hurt, because she herself was hurting uh, during the passion of Christ, having to endure watching her son go through such pain. In the same way, we're all her children, and she's watching all of us, and she's praying for all of us um, in these hard times. So if I could ask if you guys want to join um, the rest of um, the parish here, we do pray the um, we do pray at noon, the rosary, and again at at six at six p.m. Uh, we at six p.m. we have a prayer. You can find them on our uh, Facebook page for the Saint John of God Catholic Church. Um, but please join in with us in praying for a cure for the end of the virus and for the hope of the rest of the world. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. John of God. I am Rosalba Sparza. I'm one of the secretaries here at um, the parish office. And I wanted to take a moment to share my sacred space with all of you. Um, first of all, I selected Our Lady of Fatima, which she appeared in the month of May. Um, thanks to my sister, she helped me make that picture. And then the ark here, well, the shrine represents, to me, it feels like it's an ark. Um, because Mary is the new Eve, the new Ark of the Covenant. Mary gave birth to Jesus, which is the light of the world, represented here with the candle. And then we have the rosary that reminds me of to pray the rosary. The pearls are very precious to me. They remind me of uh, Mary so precious, and she's my spiritual mother. Um, also, the Santo Niño is dear to me because at the age of four, I was diagnosed with spinal meningitis and I was supposed to die and there was no cure at the time. And um, I asked um, my parents, they prayed to Santo Nino and a week later I was cured and I, I did not have it anymore. And so the doctors could not explain what had happened. Um, I also wanted to go back and uh, tell you about the rosary uh, that uh, something happened to me last week that I was praying to the Lord and asking him, Lord, what can I do to help with this pandemic? And at that moment, I have this little rack with prayer books and this book, this paper fell down out of blue. Nobody touched it. And I picked it up and it was a pamphlet that said how to pray the rosary. So I said, God, you answered my prayer. You want me to pray the rosary. So that's why this represents, is like the reminder for me to, to pray the rosary. 
Um, I wanted to also point out the flowers, the roses, that they are like Mary's uh, love for us. Like she gave Juan Diego, he gave him all those roses. Um, just like you show love to your family when you give a, f a friend or um, your husband, your um, boyfriend, they all give flowers, that's a representation of love. So this is my reminder of Mary's love for us. I also wanted to tell you that sometimes um, I might be by myself in a room and I get this aroma, the scent of roses, and that reminds me of Mary. It's always present in my life. And I also want to invite you to share your sacred space with us by sending us your photos and videos. I also want you to join us all here at St. John of God and pray as one big family and pray the rosary for the month of May. Um, may we pray for her for healing and protection and may God bless you all. We miss you and may God um, protect you and bless you as well. Thank you. Good afternoon, this, I am Father Pius of St. John of God, and we are greeting you a happy Easter. Um, as we remember our brothers and sisters who are coping up with these realities of COVID-19 and um, almost at the breaking point for some, we continue to pray for them, continue to help them with our understanding, with our support, with our presence. And we continue to pray for all those who are in the front line, who continues to serve the community, continue to care for us, who provide for our needs. And we continue to ask the Lord for blessings that they need as well as for their family, for those who are affected by this, those who are dying and those who are sick. May the Lord comfort them always, especially with the absence of their family. As we continue with our journey, we all we always remember that that uh, there's always that light in the midst of darkness. And one person that we can be able to look up to at this moment is the person of Mary. We are nearing the month of May, wherein we celebrate uh, May as the month of Mary. We when I was growing up, it's usually a time for us that we go to the chapel to offer flowers, to pray the rosary, uh, to offer something for Mary. And every time we celebrate this month of May, it's always a way of learning who Mary is and learning more about her. And as, as we come to into terms with this reality, we look up to Mary. How did she face the difficulties that she underwent? How did she was able to surpass all the different uh, realities that she passed through? What was her secret? What was her strength? And we all find that it is in her connection with Jesus. And at the same time, we also hear in the gospel these words, Mary pondered them in her heart. She always reflected on that. She always looked beyond it. To find reason to find purpose in all the things that she underwent and she continued to grow in her faith and in her hope knowing that all these are passing one thing remain God is faithful and God will always bring out the best in every situation and that is why that kind of faith she carried along in her life and we continue to ask the Lord that like her we can be able to learn from her this month of May, we shall be having once again our May floral activity in the church, though we will not be present physically, but we can be able to listen through the lessons from different persons who will be giving talk, and we'll try to get some points from them so that we can be able to learn and grow deeper in our understanding of Mary, in their own experiences, in their own life testimonies. And that is why today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our journey into this uh, pandemic, we continue to look up with hope, like Mary. Continue to grow in that faith and continue to grow in our love for one another. Amen. 